Hi, welcome back, Alex here. Welcome back to your video. And today we're going to react to Phase Rag. Phase Rag is a famous YouTuber. Uh, I don't know if you know him. He has plus 20 million followers, huge YouTuber. And then he'd been to his worst review barber in the city. It's interesting. Uh, I like to watch his kind of videos. And let's see, actually, if he's really that bad, how the people describe it. And let's see what is the result. Let's see. And then let's get our opinion and... Let's see what he could, the barber made it better, or whatever. Let's see, how is the service? Okay guys, so we had to step out real quick because I wanted to give you guys my overall first impression of the place. We walked in, the TV volume was at like 5,000. I couldn't even understand what was going on. I couldn't comprehend my surroundings. There was a review that I read that said they didn't get greeted when they walked in, like no hi, no how are you, what do you want? I don't think we got greeted, right? Well, I heard the TV more than anything. Yeah. So, uh, a lot of barbershop uh, keeps their volume high, loud as fuck, to avoid to speak with people. That's the reality of it. Uh, a lot of barbershop, they use that tactics where they blast volume crazy, so you have no chance to speak with him. He's going to work, and then you're out. He's even a way to go quicker in your service, especially you're busy. You put up music loud, nobody can hear each other, you just work, and then... In uh, you keep going. So probably that is the reason why they have loud music. Yeah, exactly. So we're not going to judge a book by its cover or anything. Like, this is just our overall first impression. The place actually looks sick. It's Marvel themed. There's like a bunch of Marvel posters. They're playing Marvel movies. That's interesting how they have all Marvel poster there. It's really good. On the TV, which is actually dope for a barbershop because usually it's all like sports. There is only one barber working and I think there's three people waiting, including us. If the wait time's an hour, that's about like 20 minutes per person. Not bad, but let's see if it's accurate. We walked in at around 12.20. Let's see if they take us around 1.20 or if it's going to be later because there was a bunch of reviews that said they take you way later than they say. That's a really common mistake from barbers where they undervalue their time like they said oh it would be just an hour when in reality is one hour and a half is just a way to keep the customer happy because if you say oh it's two hours the barber the client will say oh no i'm gonna leave but now is the issue because if it's too much compared to what you said in the first place is a problem because the, the client will be annoyed because you lied in the first place now if you give him after us beautiful service he will probably understand that but if you will, if you give an average service he will remember the fact that you give him an average service and then on top of that you were late so you have to be careful how you manage your time instead of say an hour say to him an hour and a half and then probably wait here an hour and a half probably i could take you you know before that so and then if you take him before that the client will say, oh, fuck, it's just an hour instead of an hour and a half. You know, use the reverse psychology. Or be honest. Say, man, probably be at two hours because it's too busy. Uh, you know, we're a really busy barbershop. You know, the communication, the way that you communicate is the main problem that can cause good reaction or bad reaction. And that's why most of the time you get bad reviews. The bad reviews is always... Um, communication problems 99% of the time 90% of the time are communication problem so be careful how you speak because the client understand something that he should not understand or vice versa you say something that he should have said and then he got in the wrong way so I hope that's not the case someone said they had to wait two hours when they said an hour no I'm really excited to see how the cut's gonna turn out and yeah let's wait for two hours or wait one hour yeah but hopefully not two hours <laughs> Guys, it's 1.20 right now, and my guy just finished up. Literally on time, exactly one hour. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm actually not nervous, because it seems like they're doing a good job. We just gotta tell them to turn the TV down, so let's see if they do that. Amazing how the barbershop, the, the barber is been on time. Like, now we're, now we're, now we're was perfect, you know. That's really good thing from you, you know. He's a, already a good um, image that you give to your customer, because you've been on time. I'm thinking of getting, like, a design in my hair. Yeah, this barbershop is actually cool. I like the old Marvel stuff. Even if I'm not Marvel fan, but you know, is it's uncommon to see this in a barbershop. I mean in here in England at least. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we're doing a three on the sides, a line, which I never do, and then just thinning out the top. Maybe we could trim a little bit off the top, just so it could look like I actually got a haircut. 
So let's see. Georgia, already feeling clean. I'm just watching the other worst reviewed video right now, and my hair was really bad then. I don't think it could have got worse than that. Wait, what happened? Oh. Oh. Well, <laughs> what happened? that's uh, that's uh, I mean that's nothing. I mean they probably staged that. They you know they did it just to make a show. Nothing. Bro. Yo, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 before you continue, wait, wait, did something happen or no? No, no, you're good. Okay, are you guys messing with me? <laughs> no. no, you guys are messing with me, yeah. I know it. Hey, look at me, bro. <laughs> did you actually mess up or no? Because, like, obviously you guys didn't mess up. Obviously, right? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. What? Wait, is there, like, a bald spot right here? No. You always had that. Yo, wait, can I just see a mirror or something real quick? So, uh, let's take this situation as if it was real. It probably is not. If it was real, the worst thing that you could ever do as a barber is panicking. Like, it's always fixable. It is always something that you can do to fix the problem that you made. Especially when it comes to details. When it comes around your, you know, neckline or your back or sideburns. Uh, you know, it always something fixable. You know, it just goes like to be shorter. You know, you can blend it in. It's always something you can do. So don't panic and say, you know, fix it. The client will notice. Actually, you can actually make it better. No, no, he's good. He's good. He does this all the time. Why'd you freak out then? Uh, it was just a joke. We we're joking. Alright, I want you to be sitting in this chair. Dude, what do you keep going back there for? <laughs> Cinematic, bro. I know this guy's not messing up my That's the thing. When you do a mistake and the client feel it, feels it, even if you didn't do a mistake, the client start focusing all, you know, all the focus is in that position where you showed your panic before. The client said, what the fucking happened there? And now why the barbers keep going in that in that in that same position he's doing something to fix it and you know and that this one will will last forever until the haircut is done you know this one in his back of his mind will last forever until the haircut is done because for him now it is a mistake and he's not fixable but it's, it is fixable in this case it's stage i don't believe it's true but you know i hope you get it what you mean a lot of people are gonna see this video he's not gonna mess it up no you know what i might have been messing around but i think i did go a little bit too high really <laughs> No, I mean, no, it's, it's fine. You know, let's say that he's true and then he went a bit high. It's not that high to not fix. It's fixable. Even if he went a bit higher than that, we'll be fine. You can always blend it. It's not a problem, actually. It's not a problem. When it comes to neck, it's never a, it's never a big deal. Never. So don't worry about that. It's always fixable. Of course, when you go up to the crown, that's different. It's like if it was okay. an accident. It's fine if it was an accident. No, but I really did go a little bit too high. It's fine. No, trust me, it's fine. I'm not mad about it. Is there a way we could like fix it, right? Like you just taper it or something? I don't know the terms of barbershop world. Yeah, you see, but, okay, they yeah, probably, right. they probably had, this, they talked before that, you know, say, can you blend it in? I don't know. You know, probably the barber said, say to me, then blah, blah. It's just the stage, it's a video. So I, will, I get that. Uh, but yeah, so if you panic and you get in that position, because it could happen, it could happen, even if you're an expert, man. Like, listen, when you work, when you did like 10 hours in a row and then you is your 20th, client can happen can happen because you're tired man but it's fixable is you and that where it comes to your experience you more expert you are more s weird situation you can fix was this actually an accident or did you guys plan this without me knowing it was an accident <laughs> i mean i was gonna do it but not that high it's all good hey i trust you to fix it i trust even if it was an accident don't say it you are the expert you can't say that you did a mistake you have to say it's nothing like you should be in the position where you create a mistake you know like and then if you did a mistake you should fix it because it's not a mistake a mistake is you did something completely wrong to what you are client asked that's a mistake I'm blending it for you. he's just blending it in right now okay oh bro i think you're chilling yeah you see they're just playing you know that it's not real it's just a, it's a joke you know they're playing around <laughs> telling me that like if someone comes in with gel it's their fault right like you can't come into a barbershop with gel on so like what happens when they have gel it just gets stuck in the clippers, yeah, the or... clippers don't cut as good as they should and that uh, that's really common for barbers that they don't have the place to wash your hair you know the head wash uh, because if you come over with the product is it really hard to cut especially if you have gel as they say um because the clipper will get fucked up and then on top of that you fucked up your, you fucked up your scissors as well so it's really disrespectful if you have gels and stuff like that. When you go into your barbershop, then you know that they don't have the head uh, the head wash to don't wash it. And then actually they refuse to what to do haircuts if you 
the you have jail. Which is, I get it, you know, because you fucked up all the clipper, all the equipment. That's like mostly where the reviews come in from. Well, that's not where they're coming from. I mean, those are old reviews anyways, but we hate people coming in with hair gel. You know? Yeah, I see it on the mirror over there. It says gel, no service. Hey, how's the back look right now, Noah? Give them a little update. Way better. Hey, honestly, I, I trust this guy right here. He's got the jokes. He's got the barbershop humor. Yo, Josh, what's your gamer tag? <laughs> why is it bad? I don't want you looking at my stats. <laughs> hey guys, go to a barbershop where they play phase run videos. Yeah, I'm sure. When we walked in, my guy Gio recognized who I was and he's like, Are you guys doing a worst reviewed barber video? And I was like, Honestly, we are, but the whole point of these videos aren't to bash on the place, it's to kind of experience it and see if like those reviews were old and give our legit opinion. But so far, I'm having a great time. Yo guys, so we're almost done with the cut, but we got the plug that just walked in right now. What's up, man? Let <laughs> me see the hair. Oh, oh we got the plug. quick up. That's actually really good. This is actually really good. You know, it's funny. I would never go around with that, but actually, I, I wasn't expect that. You know, normally they do like the thunder. <laughs> He's a plug in the back. It's actually funny. Yeah, then he had, it was a good hair. It was a decent haircut as well. Oh, lit, bro. We're doing a cross design on the back of my head because I want to do something lit. You ever do a design before? I've never gotten a design in my hair. This can't be the worst rated. So far, the hair looks insane. How's it look right now? Is it done? Ooh, that's pretty. It's actually really good. It's smart. It's nothing too crazy, you know, out of out of box, you know. You can wear this on a daily basis and then it will be will be good anyway, you know. It's no it's not bad. It's actually really, really clean. I like it. I like this kind of style. Things too much, you know, tribals and things like that, it's just just too much. But you know, I I don't I don't even do that kind of jobs. But like I will do this, you know, is my style, is something that will will add uh, a detail to the haircut and then we add some sort of personality to the haircut it's not destroying the haircut if it makes sense you know it's not destroying the structure of the haircut to remove the attention to the final the final job you know because let's say he did all the job perfect and now he start doing all the tribal on his hair or on, his, on, the, on his size you know wherever the job that he did until now was just useless because all the attention will be on the tribal nobody will care on his fade nobody will care because you fuck it up with you know you you removed it because you did all the tribal nobody will care about the top because it's all about the tribal and then all the uh the design that you did in his haircut so that's why i don't like it but this one will just add that kind of personality then it's really good fire so far i've never seen myself with a design yo by the way uh that's what i want to point it out you know uh the haircut is no well done uh, i have to say that i think this guy has a good experience doing uh, doing back and side uh but he's no experience on doing the top uh, and then you can see by how short he went here in the back and then how he uh, that you're gonna see on the front after you know, because i've seen it before something. how he didn't blend this one properly you know like uh you can see that he, he didn't blend really well <laughs> it's not and then you can see on this side as well it's not blend yeah, properly it is like just a haircut you know he did mainly the side and the top is just the top is a typical it's not even a haircut on top he's just trimming it you know but he's not giving any extra to the haircut he's just doing it just to show that he did something the haircut on top is it's not good. I have to say that. It's really unproportionate. It has no proportion with the side. Uh, here is too round because his head is no is is round here because he went too high with the fade. And then it's not it, actually I say wrong because the high is high enough, but because he didn't blend this one, it looks like then he had his head is round. Because if you cut this one better, it will make the square effect. But because he didn't cut it, he made an undercut and then it looks like he's rounded. So the actually how high with the fade he went is actually decent. But uh, the problem is he didn't blend this one because you know uh, he has no much experience on 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 top. I think he doesn't. Uh, he's more experienced in doing the the, the sides. Um, that he didn't pay much attention on the top. But a lot of the times he's better focusing more on the top than on the side, especially when it comes to three back and side, which is no uh, you know nine millimeters back and side is not big. You know, it's not hard to do. You know, it's really kind of simple, and then it's nothing then really need to worry about. So yeah, the top is the top is no good. The top is no good. I don't like it at all. Has no style. Has no personality. Is 
Side is good, okay, but like the top is not cut it well. It's no proportion with the side, unfortunately. Right, no, so I think after this, we should pull up on him and see if he notices. We should definitely get some like flowers and chocolate beforehand yeah. in case things get ugly. <laughs> you down? I'm down. Okay. You want me to take over? I can like get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How about he films and you do that? Yeah, I was thinking I can just, okay. It looks crazy. That's fine. That looks clean. It's really good. Look and then get our final review here. Can I get the mirror? Ooh. Perfect. Kept the top long. The sides are looking good. So there's a three on the side, right? Damn. Hey, I'm gonna Kept show you something as well that is bad. This one is bad. See? This is bad. You can show to your customer a haircut with this kind of mirror. The mirror is filthy. It's terrible. I don't care if you're a five pound barbershop or if you're a hundred pound barbershop. This one is terrible. It's really, really bad. You have to make sure that every time you show your you give the mirror to your client that actually the mirror needs to be clean and what i was doing as well before giving the the mirror to the client i was cleaning the mirror in front of him to show him to show him then i'm actually looking after details so make sure the new mirror is clean all the time that's one is so bad this one is so bad like like the haircut would ever be done perfectly everything could have done perfectly and then you can lose your customer just for this just for this and then you imagine how fucking frustrating could it ever be and just because you have to pay attention because the detail is important and then the reason why is because it's the last thing that the client will remember will remember that, that right? you did a good haircut but the mirror was shit so oh, the haircut was good but the mirror was shit that barbie is filthy now all the connection goes to the fact oh if the mirror is that shit even the chair was shit even the clipper was shit everything was wasn't clean even if it was but yeah, from the side here, you can see how no blended the haircut is. And then actually how the sideburns as well is not detailed um, as the rest of the haircut. Oh, you killed that for real. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. My yeah, 10 out of 10 is a big statement. Overall rating is a 10 out of 10 for the cut. Great people here. We had a great conversation about Call of Duty. We got the plug that came in. I don't know why there's a lot of bad reviews here, but at the end of the day, there's going to be haters no matter what. A lot of the people that left bad reviews are because they didn't want to wait, right? But people have to understand that, like, you guys take your time with what you do and you can't rush perfection, you know? Like, you got to take your time cutting someone's hair. So, Definitely. thank you so much. I agree with that. You know, people that complain about the time, they are just the same people that probably don't have any sort of respect for um their final result because these people want most of the time they want the new take time on them but they don't want the new take time on other people so it's kind of a controversy now we gotta show paul i think i gotta tell brandon paul is both of our that's funny so like, he, he did it so paul after uh, uh, for what i got is his barber uh, for you of course hey Thank nice you. to meet you yeah nice uh, i don't know much he paid course, you know yeah. That's America, stupid money for the barbershop. You know, I would be a millionaire if it wasn't barbershop, but doing barbering in America. Definitely it's good, but yeah, the crown is getting cut. This, it's not like cut properly, and then the... Yeah, yeah, it's not blended really well. Unfortunately, the haircut on top is no good. It's really... is average. If we we'll say below average as well. Really Sorry about it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some good information you can apply in your barbershop as well, uh, or in your, in your career anyway. And then they can help you out to get a, become a better barber. And of course, if you need a help for your business or if you need a help for your barber, barber career, just send me an email to my email down below, alexbarbacorta at gmail.com or send me a message on Instagram. I will be happy to help you and figure out how can I help you to improve your business or your barber career. See you soon. That's it. Have a great day. Bye.